All right, everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any any uh, tutorials or videos about being scammed, uh, but I stumbled on this one today. My my inbox on uh, not my Nuage Tech email, but my other email that I use for some business. And this one is interesting. It, it intrigued me, and here's why it intrigues me. Because if you look at email, it comes from Facebook Mail, which is legitimate Facebook email account. But it comes from mentions at and so that's important to note so we'll start with that facebook mentions mentions at keep that in the back of your mind for a moment and then it says your account has been detected in suspicious violation tagged you in a post now if i'm not paying attention i'm looking at this and i'm saying your account has been detected in suspicious violation and immediately your brain goes off to somewhere else this is not my facebook page this is somebody else who added me I'm not sure if I'm an editor or an admin on it, <clears throat> but so I get the notification and your page. And so the, the note says your page has been detected by our system about posts. Sometimes it's post something that didn't follow our community standards. So there is some poor grammar here. I even misread it for security reasons. We need to verify your account. Please confirm the repair of your account by clicking the link below. And so the grammar is not that great. That's a red flag. And then there's this link. I did not click on it. I don't know what it brings me to. I'm not going to click on it, but it is not a Facebook page. So they didn't even attempt to disguise it. There's you should, you know, if they would have wrote Facebook and then put the link in um, as a hyperlink to the word Facebook, that might've worked, except that this was, and you'll get to see in a moment why it didn't work. Then if you do not confirm, our system will automatically disable, again, poor grammar, your account, and you will not be able to use it again. Again, if I'm reading this quickly and I'm not aware of the things to look for, I may become uh, fear. Fear could set in. Fear could then motivate me to click on the link. So I'm afraid I'm going to lose this Facebook page that I spent all this time working so hard on. Um, and I'm, you know fear sets in and you do things you wouldn't normally do and it says best regards facebook meta copyright 2022 so the copyright is not current it should be 2023 now um but so red flag multiple red flags in this content however one of the first things we're taught is to check what email it came from and again it comes from facebook mail Dot com and this is how facebook com communicates with people they don't call they don't they send emails from facebookmail.com so if you're looking for the email address to be wrong it's not so maybe red flag maybe not a red flag so i go to the page in question and here's that same exact message but here's what they did and they added all these spaces so you don't see it they just tag a bunch of pages facebook is not going to do that if there's something wrong with your facebook page now i've already reported this um and so therefore nothing further we can do you should untag yourself from the post as well this is somebody created a facebook page or took it over they probably took it over this is probably a legitimate facebook um business page somebody got a hold of and changed the name to it so this page won't be around long because enough people will complain and say this isn't legitimate hopefully and the page will be taken down oh, so they look at this they've been doing it they've been doing it um it looks like they were some kind of in-home service provider but anyway so be on the lookout for this the the phishing attackers are becoming a little more sophisticated because they know that people in the industry are looking at the email domain to see if it matches and this one did so the first thought is okay this is legitimately from facebook and it says your account has been detected in suspicious um violation which again poor grammar and therefore, um, because you're a fear of losing something you've worked, you know, in a lot of cases, Facebook pages 
you know, I've owned some of my Facebook pages for 10 years, probably. And you're afraid all that work is going to go away because of something stupid. So you click on it and then you log in. If I had to guess, I'd say this is a clone of the Facebook page. And they're going to ask you to log in and they're going to steal your credentials, which is a good reason to turn on multi-factor authentication, by the way. So hopefully this helps someone until next time. Stay safe and stay secure.